This conference will now be recorded. Hello friends, welcome to bspsolutions.com. My name is Soma. And today we are going to start a new video series related to Python machine learning. And the topic for today video is to how to install and test Chatterbot using Python. So you might have heard Chatterbot a lot of time. So basically Chatterbot is nothing. Chatterbot is a machine learning conversational dialogue engine which we can configure in our environment and which can be used for automated response to a user's input. So basically Chatterbot is, a, is nothing. Chatterbot is a Python library which makes it easy to generate an automated response to a user input. And it can be used as a selection of machine learning algorithm to produce different type of responses. And which makes it easy for developers to create chatbots or chatting that automate the conversations with users. You might have gained this experience many times that whenever you send some messages to some social networking websites and when, whenever you try to connect with them on their help option, you get some responses. There are some predefined responses uh, based on your given inputs. So that's uh, automation when, uh, when the uh, customer executive is not available at other end. So they put it on auto chat so that is configured by chatbots. The best part with chatbot is that chatbot allows to be trained to speak any language. You can send your request, you can send your messages in any language and chatbot can respond to you in your language only, which makes it a language independent. Now let's talk about, let's have a look the process flow of chatbot. And as you can see this process flow, first of all, will get input from some sources. Some so get input from some sources like console or some APIs or some speech recognition, etc. Many times, like you might have seen uh, the one of the very biggest example nowadays for uh, chatbot is Siri, which is coming with iPhone. You request something, you, uh, you speak something and you will get a response accordingly. So that Siri is one of the live example for chatbots. And so that's an speech recognition. Apart from that, we have some consoles like we type, a, we, type, we type a message and we get a response from other end. So that's the, uh, that basically we are passing messages to console. And the background logic will be some process units in between uh, at, which would be executed, uh, which would be run at background. So we need to configure these statements. So there are some pre-built messages which are already configured and based on your input, it automatically, the chatbot will automatically search the appropriate response for your request. And it returns the response from logical adapter that generate the highest confidence value for its result. And the return response will be in the console itself or in API or speech synthesis, et cetera. So that's the overview, a little bit overview of chat or Chatterbot. Now let's have a look how to configure, how to install and configure Chatterbot in our environment, in our, on our machine using Python. And we'll test a small program for same. So first of all, to set up Chatterbot in your environment, the command which you are going to pass is cmd. So simple pass a command as cmd. And here I write pip install chatbot. So pip install chatbot. So it should be PIP install chatter bot. 
and I pass this command. Now, in my case, I'm getting a message that requirement already satisfied. So, because I have the installation I have already done on my machine. In your case, when you will be doing it first time, so couple of libraries, it will download and install all the libraries which is required along with Chatter bot package. So it will download this package and install. And this, uh, the installation will be done in your Python folder, lib, site packages, and Chatter bot. So you can see Chatter bot. And in Chatter bot, we have output, logic, inputs. And so the package has been installed successfully. Now, in order to test this, I'm going to write one sample code in order to test this. So we can write it in a notepad, save it as a py file, and then run it in command prompt. So we will be going to see both the options. So first of all, I choose IDLE. And in IDLE, uh, I just include the library from chatterbot import chat. Bot. And make sure be very be, make sure that the statements you are passing or the keywords you are using though they are case sensitive. So make sure the syntaxes are correct. The libraries you are installing, the libraries you are referring should be in correct format. Chatterbot dot trainers import list trainer. So first of all, I'm going to create a conversation file. So I create a sample conversation file, conversation. Conversation, basically your chatter bot will be going to read this conversation, your question and their response. And based on your, based on your question you have asked, or so based on the request done by the client, chatter bot will automatically extract the response the appropriate response and revert and display the response back or revert back response to the user so i'm just creating some conversations so let's say hello if you if for example if i'm calling if i'm if i say hello so chatterbot chatterbot will respond hi there so that's the response from chatterbot now if my question is how are you doing how are you doing? So the chatterbot response will be, I am doing great. Then my statement is, that is good to hear. That is good to hear, comma, and Thank you. Thank you. So that's the response. So conversation comes to end here. So that's the complete conversation. Now we are going to create an instance for our chatterbot. So I create a new instance for chatterbot as chatbot is equal to chatbot. And let's suppose I give it name as BISP, BISP help. It could be anything, that's the name of my chat bot. And uh, this conversation, I would be passing this conversation as a listener. Because here, this considered as a question raised by the client and this would be the response or appropriate response from the chatter bot. So we need to set the trainer to the conversation. So first of all, I write chat bot chatbot dot set underscore trainer as list trainer and chatbot dot train and it would be trained using this conversation. Now this conversation in this example, I'm, I'm writing conversation, I'm creating conversation within the code in my next upcoming video. There we would be creating this conversation, we'll save this conversation as an external file and from there we would be going to invoke this conversation. So conversation and while true, so this conversation will remain true. So the process keeps on running until and unless, until and unless the user did not enter by. 
so we are getting user input so user input is equal to input and uh, it, it will wait for user to enter something enter the string or, or raise the question raise a query so i just validate that if user input dot strip user and in input dot strip equal equal by or user input dot strip equal equal by because user may enter in uh, in b as a capital or in a small so then i simple print a message from the chat bot on behalf of chat bot so i'll just print a message as i just print a message as by and it will exit this loop else it keeps on running and it wait for the user to be input and based on the based on the user's input chatbot will read the data read the appropriate response from the conversation from the trains data and it that response will store into response variable so i write response is equal to chatbot dot get underscore response user input uh, i is capital and it will print the response on behalf of chatbot comma Response. Now let's test it. So let me save this first of all. So I save this code. I save this program as chatter three and execute it. Now as soon as you can see, it loads all the listener. Listener in terms of we have one, two, three listeners. So it loads all the three listeners and it keeps on waiting for the user. As you can see, it is waiting for user to be input or write something for example here i write by as soon as i write by it simple print a message chatbot on behalf of chatbot so chatbot response is by because this condition satisfied and it simply prints by and it terminates the it terminates the program so it terminates the loop by loop so the programs come to an end just in case we execute it again i just run it again and it waits for the response now here i enter hello now for the hello the response for hello is hi there and when i enter hello i get a response from chatbot is hi there as you can see if i write hello once again still i will get hi, hi there it will not respond i am doing great or that is good to hear or thank you because the response associated to hello is hi there so this is a conversation now for example here i write how are you doing and make sure the question will be same like i am writing hello how how are you doing so it will respond me i am doing great and if i write that is good to hear i got response as thank you again if i write hello i got hi there if i write hello again i am getting hi there so in this case it will always respond the appropriate and you can see it it uh, it is it all it automatically handles the case sensitivity here h is small still it is responding me hi there and if i write here uh, let's suppose i write that is good to hear once again and i got a message thank you and finally if i enter by here chatbot comes to an end and to respond back p2 by here we can give any custom message thanks for connecting and so on and we can have a custom message here so that's how the chatbot work now in this case the conversation file is within the program within the python code itself in up in my next video we'll be going to see that how can we create this chatbot conversation and store as an external file and read the data from there read the con and read this conversation file from there so that's all in this video i hope you like this video this video and uh, the topic today's video will help you a lot to configure your own chatbot in your environment if you have some queries you can post your comments in comment box 
you can subscribe our channel for more updates on python machine learning concepts thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye